Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet banged your mom, and I am back with another food review. What is going on, folks? It's your boy, Stefan Johnson, back with another star studded food review. Every week, if you're new here, I bring you fast food voiceover and comedy content to tickle your fancies. If you like the way any of that sounds, join me, subscribe. I promise you, I only bite a little. <laughs> I am just leaving the gym, and I figured this would be a good time to bring you another healthier fast food option if you haven't joined me for a while i've started a new series where i try to give you you know less calorie high items when we're eating on the go when we're out and about and we don't have time to you know meal prep and we don't have time to cook our own stuff at home i want to make sure we find options out there so we can start doing a little bit because a little bit for a while goes a long way and with that said i'm on a journey to find the lower calorie items, the items that will fill you up but won't kill you on the, um, you know, trans fats, won't kill you on the sodium. The sodium part is always our hardest um, fix because it's fast food. That's how they, that's how they get jiggy. But today we are headed to Subway because Subway has a rotisserie chicken sandwich. Now, not like their uh, old chicken where it's like that chicken patty in the shape of like a baby foot um this is like a like a pool chicken kind of a thing and um it, it's pretty decent even on the sodium side it's not as crazy um sodium wise as many of our healthier fast food options are i'll put the um macro nutrients right over here for you just so you can see what we're working with so you see it's not terribly bad you know what i mean um so we're gonna try that um now the one kicker is is that with the majority of these fast food spots, if you get any kind of sandwich, any kind of bread, um, they used this like processed flour and Subway is no different. Um, even their like nine grain, um, you know, um, honey oats, bread, you know, the ones that you would think are like, you know, oh, whole grains, you know, it shouldn't be that bleached flour crap. It, it is, it is. They just throw some um, herbs in there or throw some oats in there. It's the same shit. So that's the kicker. But again, this is us trying to make lemonade out of lemons. So join me on this journey, children, on this journey of not being so fat. We're all fat. We're all fat boys, fat girls, fat people. But we're gonna just try and not be so fat. I don't want my titties to be bigger than my head. I don't. Some of you probably do, and that's fine, but I don't. This is actually a subway in a gas station. So, technically, this is some um, gas station food. So, if I go into convulsions, you'll know why. Hi, can I do your um, six inch rotisserie style chicken on the um, honey oat, please? I only have Italian or wheat bread. What's left? I'll do wheat bread. That's cool. Okay, we're back. I got the bag. Now let's see what we can get into here. Now, Subway is notorious for being that healthier option, right? Remember when they had that guy, Jared, out here toting how he lost like 900 pounds eating bologna sandwiches and shit? <laughs> we all see what happened to Jared. If you don't know what happened, if you don't know the story of Jared from Subway, um, go uh, Google it, Google it. Google, if you don't know Jared from Subway, Google it and come back to this video and tell me what you found out and what you think about it. Is this weird? And if you already know, let me know in the comments um, your opinion on the whole Jared Fogel situation. And let's just see if the taste really kind of holds up to it. So again, I got their, ooh, this is a sloppy bitch. This is a sloppy bitch. So again, I got the rotisserie chicken, a six inch. I got it on wheat bread. And as far as toppings go, I only got spinach, tomato, pickles, and I got the sweet onion sauce. And a matter of fact, I have to, you have to account for the sauce as well because they have some pretty decadent sauces that would probably alter the calorie count significantly. So we have to keep that in mind. We fix you, we fix you. So again, this is the sandwich here. Not really a pretty thing, but it's all going to the same place, right? Again, spinach, tomato, and onion. Now you get spinach because spinach actually gives you some nutritional value opposed to lettuce because lettuce is just crunchy water, right? Spinach, you get iron, you get some vitamins, some minerals, you know what I mean? It's actually, it benefits the body, you know what I mean? So without further ado, 
Oh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Let's see what we got here. Mm. I really dig this pulled chicken. Opposed to like the patty there. They had like this chicken patty. You know the one. The one that was shaped like a kidney. We, uh, I don't really much like that. It's almost like a gelatinous type of a mouth feel. Pinky G with it. But this, it's like actual pulled chicken meat. Probably straight from the chicken kitty. It's clean and it's simple. Subway, Subway's bread is always so good because it's like that refined flour. And it's funny because I saw on the YouTube channel Food Theory that because it's made with like this refined flour, technically Subway's bread is cake. Technically the way it's made makes it more so cake than bread. So I know that doesn't bode well for the whole healthy junk food, you know, stick I'm pushing right now. But again, healthier options. This is far fewer calories much lower fat than like getting a fried chicken sandwich from KFC a Whopper you know what I mean a Nachos Bel Grande mm. and it's all about how you build it too you gotta make sure you build it in a way where texturally it's, it's satisfying Subway you can load as many veggies on there as you want and they're not gonna charge you extra you know what I mean Make it a diverse experience. A little bit of jalapeno to, to spice up your life. A little bit of chipotle for that smooth and creaminess. You know, cucumbers for that cool refreshingness. You know, you just gotta you gotta add some razzle dazzle in your life. You know what I mean? If you go to Subway and get a bologna sandwich, then you're not gonna have a fun experience. We go to Subway and get some roasted rotisserie chicken with some. A little bit of herbs. You can add some herbs and spices they have on there. Salt and pepper, jalapeno, banana peppers. You, you're going to have a good time. You, you got to just, you got to try. With this health food thing, with this eating on the go, you know, healthily. Healthily is not a fucking word. You just have to try. All right, folks, this has been another short one. But again, I just like to bring you these options every so often so we all can take baby steps into doing better, eating better, feeling better. You know what I mean? I feel like that's important. But as always, I'll leave some fun stuff right here, a little bit of my normal content, a little bit of the junky junk food content if you just are craving it, and some more fun stuff right here. Folks, I've been me, you've been you. I will see you soon. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that bell if you haven't. And I will see you soon.